Hey guys, so I wanted to um, chat with you all here a little bit in my creative year um, about um, projects that we're doing over here. Um, as you know, if you've been following me for any length of time, I have been doing daily drawing every day for a long time now. I've kind of lost track, at least three years I think, but it could be longer than that, I honestly have no idea. I was doing them in smaller journals where we just do a daily drawing. I do still do some of that, but for the words for my creative year this year, I decided to do one of these Moleskine Cahiers journals. This is my May journal, and I decided to do a combination of like collage, a quote, I love quotes, and then of course a little drawing still based on the word that we have for that day. Um, we do have lists of words here in my creative year. This is the unpretty copy I, get, I give you guys a, a prettier copy of the words going forward. Just make sure you all can see that. Um, and I always paste it in the front of my journal and then um, every day I do um, a spread like this and then I share it on social media. Um, it has become a fun way for me to find in my stash and use some of those bits and pieces that I kind of forgot I had, whether it's stickers or washi tapes. Completely forgot, for instance, this month I pulled this one out. For completely forgot I had this. It's sort of a cross between washi tape and stickers. It's like a roll of stickers. Um, and it doesn't look like there's a whole bunch left on here, but I did find this in my stash, so we're gonna try and use it up this month. Um, little bits of paper and little bits of paintings like these and just all kinds of things. So I've created this sort of ephemera bag. I keep trying to thin out the bag and it just still, it just ends up like this. This is really just for this journal. And I this usually is downstairs next to my daily art bag because it doesn't fit in the daily art bag, fun fact. Um, <laughs> I have a Yoohoo glue stick and an old um, hotel room key uh, for pushing things down into the Yoohoo glue. I've got a bag of tapes I want to use up, always. Um, I have a few little stencils. Now these mostly I use in my um, journal that I'm doing for A Life of Art and Self-Expression, the other Facebook group, but I, I they live in this bag anyway. It's a good spot to, to uh, store them. These are just some um, inexpensive stencils from Staples, to be honest with you. They, they're journaling or planner stencils. I don't know, but anyway, they're cute and portable. Um, Stickers. So every month I go through my sticker collection and I made this little sticker sort of folder out of some old sheet protectors and I just taped them together with packing tape and then sort of made a series of pockets. And um, every month I go through and I pull out stickers from my collection and put them in here that I want to use up and or the idea is to use up what's in here and not take these out and put them away. Um, so sometimes what is in here, lives in here for a while until I can use it up. Um, I have this pad of stickers I'm trying to use up, and mostly it just doesn't fit in the other thing, but um, what else? This is a little folder pocket of um, collage items, magazine, and a few quotes. Um, these I use in both the Journal for a Life of Art and Self-Expression, but also in um, the one here for my creative year. And then a folder of just bits and pieces, found papers, um, security envelopes, painty papers, little tiny scrapbook papers, all kinds of little bits and pieces that I don't want to throw away but I want to use up. And then, let me show you what else is in here. In the front here, I have these little date um, sheets of paper. I have this little tiny calendar thing I got from AliExpress uh, at the end of last year for this year and um, the, it's a whole stack 365 and each one is an individual day so every day oops, I put one on there and then okay that just wants to just be out of there so we're gonna just do that okay so that lives in here these are my word lists for this journal and the one for a life of art and self-expression that I'm trying to work through this year. And then I have these little, again, little books. These are actually stickers. And again, these are from AliExpress and I've got a few of them in my stash. So every month I pick one out of my stash and I use up the whole thing. Um, so it's become a way for me to use up what I have and 
keep up with my daily practice of creating art and doing something interesting, um, hopefully inspiring for you all, um, every day. And this is a bag. I just, I'm not able to get that to be less than what it is. Um, but I find it something that I really enjoy doing at night to decompress uh, after the day is done and before I go to bed, after dinner, I sit and do these journals and then I post uh, the pictures on social media. And then, you know, I just kind of, it enables me to sort of clear my mind. And also if I have gotten nothing else done creative in that during the day, because life gets in the way sometimes, I'm still able to do something creative by doing these. So I just want to continue to share the idea of doing these with you all and encourage you all to do something similar. If you have a daily practice, even if it has nothing to do with these words or word lists, I love to see you share it in the group. I will also say that the covers have become a way for me to use up more stickers in my stash, whether I've created them myself or they're things I just have. Um, this used to be something I would do um, when we were traveling or we would go to a car show or something and I'd pick up a sticker and I'd glue it to the outside of the journal for the month and I would do like the daily drawings and stuff in the journal and the outside would sort of be covered with stickers of different things I did during the month. Well, of course, COVID made it so that we're not doing that. So I thought I still, I tried doing the plain covers and I was like, well, I really like that colorful covers. I've got all these labels and stickers in my stash. Let's use them. And so it, that's just become something else. So every month is a little different. But I hope that some kind of daily art practice or daily um, creative thing that you're doing encourages you to um, be more expressive with your art, to use up that stash of stuff that we've got hanging around and that's just taking up space. Why are we saving it for a rainy day? The rainy day is now, let's use it or lose it. Uh, which is another whole video series, but anyway. Um, and, you know, if you are doing a daily practice, I would love to see you all share in the group what you are doing. So please do that. Let's start a conversation. And um, if you want to follow me on Instagram to see, you know, daily walk pictures and stuff like that, uh, that along with places to support the free content in the Facebook groups and also on the YouTube channel are all on my link tree list of links, which is down below in the video description along with my uh, link to my art foamies that I've designed for them and the class I'm teaching with Bea Grob in June. Um, all the links for all of that stuff are in the video description. So check it out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Even though this is an unlisted My Creative Year video only, please still do that. And, um, you know, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And let's have a conversation. All right, that's it for right now. I'll see you next month. Bye, guys.